Oh, praise the Lord. How you doing this morning? This is uh, Saturday, the uh, hmm, the, the 26th of February. This is last Saturday in February. We we moving on, folks. Well, let's start off. This is Job again. Job is getting ready to come back, and he's going to explain the wicked. I, I, look, this is powerful. This is powerful stuff. I, every time I, when I read this, I say, listen to this. God is just good. He's just good. Let, let me do a brief prayer, and then we're going to start this lesson. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. We magnify your holy name. We thank you for Jesus. <laughs> we thank you for Jesus this morning, this Saturday morning, this beautiful Saturday morning after the storm, the war is raging over in the Ukraine. But Lord, you got it all under control. You know what you're doing. You got these crazy folk doing what they do. That we're going to talk about the wicked because there's some wickedness going on in this earth on this to in this 2022. And Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his word. We thank you for what is true and what's true is his word. It's your word, Lord, is it is your word is Jesus. Jesus is the word. He was the word made flesh. He, you spoke. And it was. And Father, you created all things by speaking in the beginning, God. And I thank you. And I praise you. I thank you for this family that's listening to you. And I don't care if nobody listens to this broadcast, but I'm listening to you, Father. And you will listen. You will get those who you want to listen to this so that they will understand your power and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I, you know, I, like I say, I'm full. You know, I, I, yeah, I do some things that I'm not supposed to be doing, but I get spanked. I got to confess, I get spanked often, sometimes, you know, but the God is good because the correction is good, folks. Believe me, correction is good because he's moving you forward in him. And then my little grand, she's she's she laying on me. She she yeah, I gotta we 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 uh, you know I can I thank God for her. I thank God for her. in this co born in a COVID environment and have not caught a ounce of sickness since I I've, I've, I've she's been in the world. She's going on is and next month March fourth she'll be six months old. Six months getting big. But that's God. God is good. So let's start this because I want to get this. I really want to start this because you need you need. Let, let me start sharing our screen and put some music in in this background, because this is this is some good. This is this is this is some of the best uh, uh, writing. You know, I I mean, come on. I, I mean, let, let, let me just get started. Like always, I will start with in the beginning. God. And I want you to read Genesis 1, 1 through 5. When you understand that little piece in the beginning, God said it was. In the beginning, he created it. It was. And he told you how he created everything. And we still doing this nonsense in the earth. Still doing the nonsense. But that's what sin will do. What you're seeing in 2022 is a result of sin. This is in the world. This is a result of sin. And I thank God for this 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 teaching because it, we started off Job experience 2022. Okay, this 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 is Job experience. God love and God's friendship test. This is it. You know, He's testing. This is a test. What we're going through right now is only a test, and a lot of us have failed the test. A lot of us apostles. A lot of us prophets, a lot of us pastors, a lot of us teachers and evangelists, you, we are continually failing the test and we know better. And I love this statement. I'm going to say it again. It said, is it not the task of the year to discriminate between the wise and the unwise words? You can, you can tell whether my words is wise or unwise. Okay. You can, that's what your ears for. That's what I say. Those who have ears, let them hear what the spirit is saying. Just as the mouth distinguishes between desirable and undesirable food. This is what this is out of Job. Okay. And Job going through one of his greatest tests. And, and, and we use this, and, and we've been going through this. God put this peace in this Bible so that we understand suffering. 
the righteous suffering. He said the ear tries words as the pilot tastes food. So it, 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 people say, what's well, true? That's a God's word. <laughs> See, I just distinguish what I heard. Okay. I distinguish what I heard and I spoke it out of my mouth. Okay. Love suffers long. God is love. He suffers long. He suffered long with us. Okay. The book of Job teaches knowing God's unconditional love. Knowing God's redeeming spirit. Knowing God's truth. And that's what Lady asked me. said, what is true? God's word is true. It's just the bottom line. God's word is true. True belief in God's word is, you know, come on. True belief in God's word. That's what he teaches. God's word is Jesus. Jesus was the word manifested in the flesh. Right now, we should be breezing through this. We should be understanding this. The love of God. Job teaches the love of God. Okay, what is the love of God? Loving God and your neighbor. Okay. That's it. It's teaching that. And it's teaching those two non-compromising principles. The Lord, the unconditional love of God. I'm saying Jesus. That's why I, so, so people say, what, what God do you serve? I'm saying Jesus. I'm giving you a name above all names. And the cross. He be crucified. Paul said, I don't want to know anything but Jesus Christ be crucified. I don't want to know about your stuff. Okay? I keep telling these knuckleheads that call themselves pastors and prophets and apostles. These modern day pastors and teachers and Daniel. I don't want to know about you. I don't want to know about your list of accomplishments. All I want to know is Jesus Christ and he be crucified. Because that's where we are. I don't want to know about your dinners. I don't want to know about nothing but Jesus Christ and he be crucified. That's what I'm telling my grand. Okay? It teaches the Lord. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. He said, I'm the light. He said, you are light. That's what it teaches. Yeah. Hey, that's what God is teaching Job. He's a light too. Even in this terrible condition, physically, he's still alive. He's righteous. Not because of who he is, because of who God is. Please understand, I get, I'm getting happy already. Okay, and we know what light does. Light, you know, from the natural, even in the natural, light travels. You can't, you can't perceive in your your earthly mind. Light travels 186,411 miles per second. Okay, and we tell you how many seconds is in a day? 86,000, 86,000 seconds in a day. That, you should know that by heart now. Somebody said, how many lights in days? Hey, how many seconds? You know, uh, how many seconds in days? 86,000. 86,000. 86,400 to be exact. So you got 86,400 seconds in a day to Jesus Christ. He'd be cool <clears throat> Okay? It's just that simple. Ain't got nothing to do with Longhorn Steakhouse. Ain't got nothing to do with all the stuff that we do. I'm shopping and I'm in pain. I'm, I feel bad. I, I don't want to hear about that. All I want to know is Jesus Christ, he'll be cool by that. And he said, one day, when you mature, you, you know you mature, he said, one day you will understand. You will know for yourself that I'm in the Father. That's what Jesus said, I'm in the Father. You and me and I'm in you. That is that is the crust of maturity. This all this other nonsense you see. Is absolutely nonsense. Okay, I always put. <clears throat> I love this this one right here. Every week, I love this song, and I put I put pieces into it. You know, I'm almost getting. To, you know, 
hopefully it, could, <clears throat> it takes to the end of Job. But this is the Psalms. This is Psalms 49 through 56. It's 119. And I love what these guys say. They say, remember fervently the word and the promises of your servants. Okay. And the promise to your servant. This is what's a promise. And we say, you are, put, put Jesus' name, Jesus' word, Jesus' pre promise. In which you have caused me to hope. That's our hope. Faith, hope, and love. Jesus is faith, hope, and love. Jesus is our faith. Jesus is our hope. And Jesus is our love. This is my comfort and consolation in my affliction. Look at look, look, look right there. He said, consolation in his affliction that your word has revived me. Woo! Your word. Have revived me. I talked to a young lady on the phone. She said, I, uh, you know, I caught something from my daughter. I'm sick. I said, look, 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 look. I preached, I, I, I preached about five minutes to her. She, she wasn't even coughing. She wasn't even sick. I said, because you, you said it. He said, I feel, no, you, 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 you it ain't got nothing to do with your feeling. <laughs> you gotta understand that. Jesus said, the man said, hey, what do you want to do? He said, if I can see, he said, you believe I can do this? He said, you know, he said he got to walk. He said, take up your bed and walk. The guy got up and walked. <laughs> so I leave that alone. He, he, said, he said, your word I have, has, past tense, has revived me and given me life. Proud head, the proud have hid me in, in great derision. Look at that. Look at that. Proud hid him in derision. Yet have I not declined in my interest in or turned from your law. I, you might as well put a word there. Jesus. Okay. I have not turned from Jesus. I have not turned from Jesus. Okay. Would I earnestly recall your ordinances from old, old Lord Jesus? Uh, he said, I have taken comfort. See, they say, Lord, I, I'm uh, on this side of the cross. So I hear say, what Lord is he talking about? I put Jesus there. He said, burning indignation, terror, and sadness seized upon me. Look at that. That's every day. Oh, boy. Indignation, terror, and sadness seized upon me. Look at that Ukrain Ukrainian mess that's over there. Look, at they running like little roaches. You know, they should have stayed in their house. Look, come on in. Come on. Put your tanks in the, in the ground. Come on, you think you want to take me over? Go ahead and take me over. Okay. Burning indignation, terror, and sadness seized upon me because of the wicked. That's what it's done. The wicked has to see Who forsake your look at that. He called wicked as those who forsake the law of Jesus. That's what they do. Okay. Just forsake that law. She said, I'm in the Father. I'm in the law. I'm in the Father. You and me and I'm in you. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He said, look at that. He said, your statues. He said, he's talking about your Jesus, your, your Jesus statues. I've been my song in the house of my pilgrimage. That's all we do. We're passing through this place. He said, I have earnestly remembered your name, O Lord Jesus, in the night. Yeah, you're right. I have observed your law. Okay, Jesus, I have observed your law. I have observed Jesus. I have observed Jesus. That's what you got to say. This I had as a gift of your, uh, you say, Jesus' grace, okay? He's given us grace. And as my reward. And then he put those little colas there and said, everything out there. He said, that I have kept your, look at that, kept Jesus' precept. This is word, hearing, receiving, loving. This is the part we, this is the part we have problem with, obey. We think, yeah, I heard you. You know, I received it. I loved it. But did you obey it? Okay. Did you obey it, you apostles? Did you obey it, you prophets? Did you obey it, you pastors? Did you obey it, you teachers? Did you obey it, you evangelists? You've been preaching. Look, he said, I have, he said, this I have had as the gift of your grace as a reward. Look at that. And as a reward. Not only grace, it's a gift. 
He gave us ascension gifts that I may keep your Jesus, I may keep Jesus cross, he be proved by precepts. And then and when you hear, this is what when you hear, you hear, you receive, you love, and you obey. What I'm having issues is is that peace to obey. When you obey, it follows. Okay. Okay. Let, let's go on to Job. Now, last week we had Job's friend told him what the wicked is. Now Job going to come back and he's going to describe to us. He going to describe the wicked. Okay? We had his friend describe the wicked. Now it's Job turn to describe the wicked. So Job answered him. He said, hear my, he said, hear diligently my speech. My word. And let this, your attention be your consolation given me. He said, hey, since, you, since you told me about the wicked and you pointed me saying I'm wicked. But these are friends. Friends. These are friends. Everybody else left him. So he got three friends. And then the fourth going to come on the scene. This is chapter 21. He said, allow me and I also will speak. And after I've spoken, my God. <laughs> I love this. I love Joe. I do. I love this man. He said, my God. Because he's, he's in his second wind now. He said, as for me. In my complaint to man or of him, he said, As for me, is my complaint to man or of him? And why should I not be impatient and my spirit be troubled? He said, He's asking a question. He's the one in affliction, he's the one with the disease, he's the one with the issue. What's the problem with you guys? You should just be listening. He said, look at me and be astonished and appalled and lay your hands upon your mouth. He said, shut up. Shut up. Even when I remember I am troubled and afraid. Look at that. He said, even when I remember, he said, I am. He ain't talking about that. He said, I am. I am troubled. I'm afraid. And I'm a horror and trembling takes hold of my flesh. So God understands that. Hey, but God, God do. Because this is before the cross. And God understands. He said, Job is righteous. He, I got to deal with him for future generations. Why do the wicked live? This is this is what he's asking. Why do the wicked even live? Become old and become mighty and powerful. He's asking that question in his pain. He said that children are established with them in their sight and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe and at peace without fear. Neither the rod of God is upon them. See, that's not true. Well, you got you to gotta understand God. This is what Job is seeing. He said, I'm sitting here suffering and these wicked folk are having a good time. He said, a bull breeds and fails not. Their cows, calves do not miscarry. They send forth. He's talking about those who don't believe in God. There are Some of our farmers don't believe in God. They believe in nature. They don't believe in God. He said they send forth their little ones like a flock and their children skip about. They themselves lift up their voice and they sing and the, and the tambourines and lyrics and they rejoice in the sounds of pipes. And, okay. That sounds like us the psalmist talking when he said he, when he saw that it almost made his foot slip. That's what's happening in the world today. This is 2020. People look up there and say, why is Putin prospering? It looks on the surface that this man said, how is he, he, he getting folk killed? He, he killing folk because of pride. In China, the same thing. Afghanistan, he said, why are these folk prospering? It looks like they doing something. They spend their days in prosperity and they go down the show, the unseen state, in a moment of peace and, and peaceful. That's not true, but they, he, that's the perception. Yet they say to God, depart from us, for we do not have desire and knowledge of your ways. They do. Jesus even talked about that when a rich man went to hell and you know, 
he looked like he was fat all his day, and all of a sudden he died all suddenly. He went down to hell, and he, he has Lazarus, who was poor all of his life. Come on, you heard the story. He said, give me some of that water. You know, just put it on the tip. Lazarus now, he, after his, he died from this earth. He, he, like he was more prime. He's prosperous. He's sitting over there, Abraham. <laughs> he went. But the rich man, and while he was on earth, look up. Now, look, he said, look, look at that. They depart not from. We we do not desire the knowledge of God. They did. They did. When he was on earth, they, they didn't want to know God. Who is the Almighty? Who is the Almighty? They even got a wrestler called Almighty. Can you believe that? And he lost. <laughs> the man beat his butt. He said that we should serve him. Yeah. Who is this Almighty who we should serve? Me. You know, he, he, you serve me, you poor. That's what they said. They said, you serve me, you poor. And he said, what prophets do, do I have, have if, I, if I pray to him? You know, I'll be like you. This is what the, this is what these guys are saying. But notice you say, the prosperity of the wicked is not in their power. Hmm. The mystery of God dealing with the ungodly is far from my comprehension. See, and that's true. It is far from your comprehension because you should be to see what the God say. See, God said you were prospering, but you didn't believe it. He said, He said, you were more prosperous. Job, you were more prosperous than the wicked. Think about it. But yeah, you may gotta remember the man is in disease. He 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 know the devil and, and put his hands on. God allowed the devil to put his hands on. So he said, the mysteries of God dealing with the ungodly is far from my comprehension. You're right. It's far from your comprehension because you're writing this, this stuff. He said, how often then is it that the lamp of the wicked is put out, that their calamities come upon them? He's asking a question. That God distribute pain like Job was in pain and sorrow to them his in his in, to them in his anger that they are like stubble before the wind and like shaft that a storm steals away carried away he said that they are like stubble before the wind and like shaft before the storm and steals them away you say God lay up punishment of the wicked okay you you know this this is what he said he said you said that last week that uh, his friend said yeah and equity for his children let him recompensate it to the man himself. Okay? That he may know and feel it. Let his own eyes see his destruction. Let us drink the raft of the Almighty. See, that's why Job, he said, he can't comprehend that. The rich man, here he is, and when he was living on the earth, he was rich. You know, Buffett them is rich. Why they own earth? They billionaires. They got billionaires in this. Only one percent of the earth. They got billionaires. They rich. Got these large houses. You on TV every week. These show these large houses. Okay, they ain't giving nothing to nobody unless they even fight the tax man for taking his money. But what pleasure or interest has a man? Look at look at this is Job talking out of pain in his house and his family after he's dead. Uh oh. What pleasure or interest has a man after he's dead when the number of his months is cut off? See, that's what they don't think about. They think about just leaving and saying they, they okay. That's, they think this is it. They think their life is over. They, you know, they prosper on earth and then it's over. No, but they live in eternity. They got an eternal soul. Eternal damnation. Or they're going to they keep the paradise, but they don't. There's some rich folk in paradise, folk. Because <laughs> they love Abraham. with very rich. Okay. Shall any teach God knowledge, seeing that uh, he judges those who are on high? Look at that. Shall any teach? I love this. Should, should any teach God's knowledge, seeing that he judges those who are on high? Mm -hmm. One dies in full strength, being holy, at ease, and quiet. His pails are full of milk, 
His veins are filled with nourishment, and the marrow of his bones is fresh and moist. Whereas another man dies in bitterness of soul, okay, and never tastes the pleasures of good fortune. They lie down alike in the dust, and the worms spread a cover over them. Ah, see, Job, you just don't understand. You're looking at the natural. You're looking through natural eyes. Okay? You, you, you don't look at what the spirit wants. He does. The, the soul lives forever. Okay? The spirit go back to where God gave. Go back to God where he did. Okay? Behold, I know your thoughts and plans and your devices with which you would wrong me. These are friends, Joe. They, you know, they just, they just, they just know what they know. For you say, where is the house of the rich and liberal prince? Meaning me. <laughs> where is the house of the rich and the liberal prince? <laughs> Joe said, meaning me. <laughs> and and where is the tents of the wicked? Okay. And they do. They insinuate as Joe. Well, have you not asked those who travel this way and, and do not accept any of their testimonies and evidence? He said that the evil man is now spared in his day. That the evil man is spared in his day. No calamity and destruction. That's what they were saying. Look at it say. He said, he said, have you not asked those who travel this way and do you not accept? He said, do you not accept their testimonies and evidence? that the evil man is now spared the day of calamity and destruction and they are led forth away on the day of God to wrath. They are led forth and in, in away on the day of God's wrath. But who declared a man way and rebukes him to his face? But who declares a man way? Who declares it? And who pays him back? for what he has done. Hmm. I want you to look at that statement again, you apostles and you prophets and you pastors and teachers and evangelists. Job asked a pointed question here, but who declares a man's way and rebukes him to his face and who pays him back for what he has done? When he is born, when he is born to the grave, watch is kept over the tomb. When he is born to the grave, and watch is kept over his tomb. See, he's still looking at it through natural eye. Okay, he's almost finished. The clods of the valleys are sweet to him, and every man, look at that, every man shall follow him to his grave as innumerable peoples has gone before him. I want y'all guys to understand that. I want Putin and the rest of Hitler and all the rest of we, you know, look at that. Every man has shall, shall follow him to the grave as innumerable people has done before him. How then can you comfort me with empty and futile? He's telling that to his friend. Now he's telling this to his friend. Your words is empty. If you're saying that I'm you know, I'm wicked. That's what he's saying. He, your words are futile. And your replies lures falsehoods. And he said, since in your replies, there lures falsehoods. He's asking the question, how can you comfort me with empty words and fruit out words? Since your replies, there lures falsehoods. How then can your comfort, you comfort me. That's what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be comforters to those who, even those who are perishing, we're supposed to be comforters to them and hope that they turn. With your empty words, your fruit out words. Since your replies there, lures and falsehood. See, the only truth is God's word. So I'm going uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, let me commentate and then pray and commentate and then we're going to stop sharing. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for those powerful words of Job this morning. 
<laughs> in 22, we still, we have war than they do for we wicked folk to still do what they do. But you know that. You see, you told them, he said, for them, is it, it was for them to know. That's why he spoke in parables. It was for them to know. It was for his his folks, you know, because Jesus, he, you asked, he said, why do you speak in parables? He said, because it was, it's not for them to know. It's for you to know. It's for his people to know. It's for us to get revelation, which we look like we don't even want. And Father, we thank him. We praise you. We honor you. We lift you up for Jesus in the cross. He'd be crucified. That, these are just simple prayers, and, and I know uh, and I, as I commentate, Lord, continue to reveal, let these lips of clay reveal who you are, and let me decrease, and so I can reveal you in the earth, and wherever I go, I'll be asked these questions all the time, but Father, we thank you for Jesus, we thank you for your Holy Ghost, who you sent, and you speak, and he's our, he's our helper, he's our, he's our everything, he's you. <laughs> so there, there, there's no distinguishing between you and, and the son and the father there's no distinguish because it all comes from you to try you and God and we thank you we thank you and we praise you in Jesus name amen let me let me just finish this I, like I said I, this is how uh, that's why I love my grand she's sitting there laying her eyes open she probably pretending she thinking she's asleep and she think I think she's asleep and that's what I like about it. she like she pretends and then she'll pop her eye open. Okay. She just laying there. That's what we do. We supposed to be doing the father. We do that with the father. We lay on him and let him do the work. She gets taken care. Of, totally. She don't have to put on no clothes. She don't have to move. She just all she she waiting for her food. You wipe her, you clean her, and that's all she does. Peace. Peace perfect in a child and a baby and, and we and, and we we get sometimes we don't even like them and I and I, I look at that to see I look at that as revelation we have to understand that God is God he don't care about your little stupidity he's God and Job you know Job was explaining that Job really was playing crazy this is the wicked and you have accused me of being that you know and uh, you know people talk to me all the time about uh they say well you 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 man you got wisdom no the wisdom comes from god i have to explain yeah you, you're right I, I got god's yeah, i believe i got god's wisdom sometimes i don't act on god's wisdom just like solomon solomon god gave solomon wisdom. he said ask me what i should give you and then he said just give me your wisdom that's what Solomon said. Right, give me your wisdom and discernment about, for these people. You know, and, and God said, oh, he, he was pleased. So why are you asking for money? Because wisdom is money. Yeah. You get wisdom, you went before kings. So you ask for who God is, and that's what he was asking. He said, I, I want you. And God loves Solomon. He said, since you didn't ask for riches, he said, I'm going to give you that too. You didn't ask for gold and riches and long life and all that other stuff. I'm going to give you that. And he did. Just Solomon started forsaking what God has given him. and Start forsaking God over some women. And that's what these women thinking we do. Well, no, ain't craziness. They got nothing to do with us. They have everything to do with God. He, Jesus Christ, he'd be crucified. And to us apostles or prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists understand that peace they grow up they they stay babies boo booing and, and doing what they do and people be cleaning them it's just that simple it's not hard this is not hard in the beginning god and until we understand that small piece until we understand it just like that baby that's that's laying there on my shoulder so she understands, just like us. This is all it is. He said, Mary was at Jesus' feet. Martha was busy trying to impress him. Mary, he said, hey, Martha, don't, hey, don't, don't come to me that nonsense. He said, hey, look at Mary. He said, I'm not going to take that from Mary. She got the best part. You being busy. We busy setting up church, setting up our own kingdom on this dirt. 
and we think God is impressed. God ain't impressed by that. He told you to sit at his feet and listen and do what I told you to do. Follow me. Peter, follow me. If you love me, you're going to follow me. Just that simple. It's not hard. It's not hard. God is good. He's good. And until we understand that, we don't grow up. You see, God came to earth for people. He didn't come for things. We already got things. He said, all, all this is yours. Every place you step on, he says, it's yours. We fighting over something that's already ours. But we don't understand that. So you pastors, you, you, you know, you power prophets and you apostles and teachers and evangelists, you, you, when you, you understand that. You, you want money? Here, here. Here goes money. Here. See, 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 where that good, see where that gets you. You cry more about money then you do preaching and teaching the word. It comes. Money follows us. We get that. We already got that. Jesus didn't worry about no money. He went preaching and teaching. He did what God told and signed him to do. He did exactly what God. He, he preached and he left it for us to understand his word. It's not hard. But we still do the same thing. That's why they open that crazy. Now, Mark, are you crying? Then he's going to try to go a little further. Then if you put sanctions on him, yeah, give me a break. Did he learn anything from Hitler? Didn't he learn anything from World War I? Didn't he learn anything from the civil? Didn't he learn anything from all this chaos and, and carnage that we do all the time? The world does. They don't learn because they don't have God. So they think it's them. They want control. The Satan want control because he didn't have God. He had everything. When he was Lucifer, he had everything. Okay? When he, he was up there and there, he was an angel. He had everything. But that wasn't enough for him. He was diamonds. He sparkled. He brought in the praise to God. Then iniquity got in his heart. He wanted to be something that he could not be. God is not created. Okay? He is. He I am. <laughs> How can you create a being to create all? That's why he put those little snippets in his word. He, he said, can the, can the potter tell the clay how to make him? A simple question. If I'm writing on a piece of paper, can that paper tell me how to give me a break? But we don't understand that. We still with this foolishness. So, all right, you know, all right, well, you do that. Oh, here you go. You, you need, here you go. Now, what is that going to do for you? What is that doing for you? Hmm? He gives you Proverbs. He gives you Psalms. He says, just praise me. Only if the man would praise me. Yeah. I deliver them out of trouble. I show them, uh, and then they still go about doing the same old thing. Only a man would praise me. That's what God said. Only, if, oh my goodness. Then they shout to the Lord, and, uh, and then when they're in trouble, and he said, Oh, only a man would praise and worship God. Well, he said, They just flesh. And that's what flesh does. And finally, I talked to a young lady. She, Still saying thing, thing, thinking, thinking what she had not learned. She still have not, they still don't learn from those, those years of struggle, those years of being used and abused. And then they think all of a sudden they get older and they think that what they didn't learn, that it wasn't true. That this is different. No, it's not. You think what you, back is different. Hmm. Instead of focusing and let God do it, because what I do is forever. You understand it? He said, what I do is forever. <laughs> so I'm learning. He said, well, you know, I don't care what you do. You do anything you want to do. And when I do something, when I sin, I sin against God and God only. I ain't dealing with your, 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 your nonsense. He showed me. He showed me, and the closer I get, he keeps showing me a little bit about me, and then I tried, and I may fall, but he said, my good man fall seven times. Did he get back up? Because God has held him up. God got him. 
Oh, I better get off this train. Okay. Whew. Oh, Father, I thank you once again for my grand. I thank you for everything on this 26th of February, 2022. I even thank you for that war, that nonsense that's going over in Ukraine. I thank you for all. He said, all things give thanks, and I do. He said, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose, his promise, his, his life. He's chosen. So, Father, I thank you. So, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. So, Father, you know, thank you. And as we end this broadcast, powerful words, powerful words as we end this broadcast, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. I'm going to put a name to it. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. And like uh, Jacob said, may the Lord watch between you and thee while we absent, one from another. That's an Old Testament saying. Let God's face shine on you this week. And I appreciate everything. Anybody that's listening to this, let the sound of my words take an effect. Let God's face shine on you. You okay. You're going to be okay. And you are okay. You're going to be okay. And it's going to be eternally okay. Because God is good. And his promises is yea and amen. That's all it is. If you learn anything from this broadcast, you should learn that. God is good. I love Joe. He had some powerful words this week. But let's see what he's going to say next week. Oh, I can't wait. God bless you. See you next week. God bless you.